What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, Circle Triangle Square, CTS Gaming. I am Corey, and I thank you so much for stopping in. First, before we get into this video, I want to show you guys the Twitch channel. Be sure to check it out, twitch.tv forward slash Circle Triangle Squared with a D. But in a couple of days, it's going to be CTS Gaming as well, just in case you wanted to know why that name hasn't changed yet. But there you go, guys. Check out the Twitch channel. Lots of streams over there and on YouTube. But now it is time to get right into it. This video is a about the Nikdo Take No Prisoners bundle. A lot of people have been talking about this. It came out on July 1st. It's a really good pack. And there were some people that were complaining, including myself, that it left the store and they were afraid they were never gonna get the gun again. Somehow this gun slipped past a bunch of people, including myself, who really never paid attention to it. There's one specific rare item in this bundle, and that is the Slaughterhouse gun. Now it's not just the gun that's worth it, but it's one of the perks that is on the gun called Dismemberment. It actually blows arms and legs and heads off the enemies when you shoot them. Not to mention, it has red tracers. The gun is flawless. So if you guys are wondering how to get it, you have to wait for this bundle to recycle or circulate through your store. If it's not showing up in your store, you will not be able to go to your weapons and go over to the store under the loadouts and purchase the bundle through a shortcut or armory. I was not able to do that and I know people that weren't either. So you're gonna have to wait for this bundle to go into the store once it does it's one of the most expensive bundles you can get and the reason for it is the slaughterhouse this gun is really good it's an lmg has 200 round magazines pretty decent range but it's aim down the sight speed and sprint to fire speed is quicker than any lmg in fact it almost feels like an assault rifle but it has tracer rounds and dismemberment it is fantastic first this is how you get it you have to get the bundle which i am getting right now unfortunately you can't get the gun by itself and not only that you can't get it inside the armory you have to go to the store and you have to wait for the bundle to be available you'll see that this pack contains dismemberment it says it right there it's really really good guys you're gonna love it a lot of stuff here in this pack that's really worth it the nikto skin the blood setter is really awesome slaughterhouse crimson pools is pretty much one of the best shotguns if not the the best shotgun in the game the operator finishing move is seriously epic if you haven't seen it you must get the bundle uh the vehicle skins are okay the blood symbol watch is cool loose ends for melee that's kind of cool too not as good as the guns but still very very cool the dirty deeds calling card i'm definitely going to use that because this is a rare bundle the emblem dark thoughts going to use that as well and of course the just a corpse which is the taunt or the voice of Nikto. And not only that, when people see this, they're going to know it's rare because not everybody has it and it's not always in the store. So let's get right to it. Let's take a look at the guns. If you guys look at the LMGs here, the Hedro gun has a lot more range and accuracy and control, but it loses quite a bit of mobility. In fact, it's about 15, 20% more mobility on the Slaughterhouse. This is a medium to close range gun. And for Team Deathmatch or Warzone, it's really good, but it's especially good for Warzone. All right, guys, let's take a quick look at how to set this gun up. If you guys don't have the Slaughterhouse, I recommend getting it. Do not try to build your own because you're not gonna get dismemberment. You're not gonna get the tracers or the skins. But if you must, the barrel is the 18.2 inch compact barrel. There's no laser or muzzle. Optic is the Solazero Optics Mini Reflex. It's great for aim down the sight speed. If you guys are strictly using this gun for Warzone, the Cronin C480 Pro Optic is better. It's going to give you better zoom. You're going to lose some aim down the sight speed and lose a little bit of control. But accuracy and range go up. You can see the target better, better acquisition. You guys can see here for the stock, it has the FSS close quarter stock for aim down the sight speed. We want to make sure that we're able to aim this gun really quickly. It's all about mobility. No perk on the rear grip. You're going to have the stippled grip tape, which is going to give you sprint to fire speed, aim down the sight speed. Again, this gun is for running and gunning. It's for speed. And if you look at the ammunition, it has the 200 belt round magazine. So that right there in its own right is just awesome. 200 rounds before having to reload. That's how the gun is set up right there. And like I said, it also has dismemberment. It's not going to show up there, but it does. The underbarrel, you do not need. The snatch grip, recoil control, and more aim down the sight speed. This would really be the ultimate choice uh, to use for this gun. 
And I'm probably going to take off the optics. So that's going to give me a lot more aiming stability. I'm going to have to use iron sights. But for up close combat, that's going to be the ultimate gun. There's no need to have the reflex. I'll just use iron sights. The only time I'm going to swap the underbarrel is for the Cronin C480, which is a 3.5 magnified zoom. If you're looking for crimson pools, it is going to be the 725 shotgun. Crimson pool, as you can see right here. It is going to lose a little bit of damage and a little bit of control from the base model of the gun, but you're going to be getting a lot more accuracy, a lot more range, and a little bit more mobility. Very good gun. I've used it once. Loved it. Uh, it's set up perfectly. You do not need to change anything. Let's take a quick look at Crimson Pools in case you guys want to set this gun up and don't have the bundle. For the muzzle, we have it set to choke. It's going to have a tighter pellet spread and damage range, which is basically allowing you to shoot further with the gun. And for the barrel, we have the Tempest 32 inch competition. Damage range goes up, tighter pellet spread, which again, both contributes to greater range. The five milliwatt laser is hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed. So they want you to be mobile and have range with this shotgun. For the optic, we have the Solazero Optics Mini Reflex, which comes on both guns. It's gonna help with precision sight picture. There's no stock, perk, or underbarrel. But for the guard, we have the Tempest Slim Grip, and that is for aim down the sight speed and sprint to fire speed. They really wanted both guns to be mobile, have good range, and have a lot of damage. Both guns are set up very well, and this pack was definitely worth the money just for the guns alone, which they both have dismemberment, so that really makes it worth the while in its own right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the emblems. So here we go, guys, for calling cards. Here is the Dirty Deeds I've equipped. The emblems, I'm gonna go all the way back to the top and get it, there we go. That is the emblem right there. All right, guys, so there we have it. Full bundle, equip both guns, emblem, and of course the calling card. Now it's time to show you the slaughterhouse in action. The stopping power of this gun is remarkable. A couple of bullets in TDM hardcore, and the enemies go down easily. Even in war zone, it only takes about six or seven bullets to completely break the shield and put someone down. It's just crazy how much damage this gun has. The red tracer rounds actually add a very cool effect, especially with the blood flying everywhere during dismemberment with the heads and the arms are kind of just going all over the place. Right now, I have dismemberment off and off. Just to show you guys the difference of what it looks like with dismemberment off and on. Right now, I'm getting kills like crazy. This gun is so good. And you can see the tracer rounds and how well it puts the enemies down, but there's no dismemberment. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what that looks like, but there is no need to worry about reloading, and that's what I was trying to show you guys right there. 200 rounds in the magazine, so there's no reload needed. You can probably kill 20 people before you have to worry about reloading. In fact, most of the time, if not all the time, you're never going to reload. In fact, in the deathmatch, I went an entire round without even pressing square or even thinking about it. So there is no need to worry about reloading. You can see it's got lots of mobility, almost like an assault rifle, not as fast as an SMG, of course. It's probably on par with the Growl or the Kilo, maybe a smidge slower, but it's an LMG. All those attachments, the aim down the sight speed is great. You can see here with dismemberment, I'm blowing legs off, arms, heads are going everywhere, blood everywhere, the tracer rounds. Like, look at that, it's crazy. Just blowing them away oh my god look at the body parts everywhere this gun is just pure nasty it's throwing bodies all over the place you can see when i'm killing them look at them I'm just destroying their bodies just throwing it all over the place this gun is nasty look at this this gun is definitely not for the faint of heart and if you have teammates that don't really like seeing a lot of gore it could potentially psych them out during warzone which is definitely a benefactor for the person who's wielding this gun just imagine going through warzone and someone shoots your teammate and his body parts are all over the place and he never reloads and he's pinning you and your team against the wall and he just continues to fire and you're watching body parts fly all over the place it is crazy now here is the shotgun you can see it's the exact same thing crimson pools just leaving heads and arms all over the place blood everywhere just blowing bodies apart and this gun has incredible range for a shotgun you can see that i'm just shooting them about 40 50 meters away sometimes and they're dying in one shot the only downside to this shotgun it only has two shots and you have to reload the reload is not that slow but it's really not that fast either oh my god look at that two heads one shot 
And even some arms and legs were blown off in that shot. Oh my god, that is so crazy. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping and watching this video. The Crimson Pools, the Slaughterhouse, the entire pack of Take No Prisoners. This bundle is worth every penny just for the dismemberment effect alone. These skins and the tracer rounds are just added benefits, but the dismemberment is definitely where it's at. It just destroys people. It looks so gruesome. It can mess with their psyche and just totally psych them out. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash circle triangle squared with a D. Pretty soon, it'll be CTS Gaming. But I want to thank you guys for stopping and watching this video. Be sure to check out the upcoming videos as well as streams on YouTube and Twitch. Thanks so much, guys. Take care. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.